nationalism. This is the topic for this session because nationalism is considered as an important aspect of a society from where one can imagine how a society thinks and shapes the political culture of a system. So there are basically two broader perspectives about nationalism and they are known as the structuralist and the uh, constructivist. So the first school of thought they believe and many political sociologists and political scientists they have contributed regarding the promotion of this concept and their basic philosophy is that nationalism is a form of consciousness which in return surrounds the structures of state that create social order. In ka ye khayal hai ki jo nationalism hai basically ye ek aisa phenomena hai jo jab create hota hai to uske behind state mein jitne bhi operative structures hote hain they contribute. So basically they think that nations retained a shared culture inherent in the nation as community or group. So their particular and regular practice of the culture, basically that shared practice creates the feeling of nationalism. So another perspective regarding nationalism is that nationalism as emerging out named human population which shares myth, memories, a mass public culture, a, a, a designated homeland, economic unity and equal rights. That when people are together on one place, for the long time when they have shared interest, then actually the feeling of nationalism creates. The other school of thought, they believe that and again some of the political sociologists, they are the followers of this school of thought and they have the feeling that the majority of inhabitants or members of any given nation, they even do not know each other and sometimes even they do not have seen the faces of each other but still they have the same feelings regarding their uh, community and regarding the uh, common interest of each other. So they believe that they are a group and this uh, feeling of group actually promotes the feeling of nationalism. So we can analyze that these two schools of thought, although they are a little bit different from each other, but still they have some common assumptions and uh, the common assumptions or the main characteristics of the concept of nationalism, they lies that there must be a group, a group which shares some common interests. These common interests can be on the basis of culture, on the basis of economic benefits, or even they can have some b common beliefs. Now, these common beliefs kis base par ho sakte hain? Ye common belief jo hain. ये religious affiliation भी हो सकती है, ये common belief जो है, ये किसी language के साथ feeling भी हो सकती है, ये कोई racial unity भी हो सकती है, कि एक नसल से तालुक रखने वाले लोग, एक जुबान बोलने वाले लोग, वो जहां भी होंगे, उनके अंदर जो एक feeling होगी, कि वो एक खास जो group है, उसके साथ उनकी affiliation, उनके अंदर जो feeling create करती है, वो nationalism की feeling कहलाती है. ये जो nationalism की feeling है, although it has faced so many crises like in the era of industrialization, now even in the era of a speedy communication, वो जो एक group की feeling है, वो अब उसको कई challenges face करने पड़ रहे हैं. मस्तान अगर किसी एक group को एक जगह पर सब facilities हासिल हैं, लेकिन उसका पूरा ग्रुप जो है वो वहां मौजूद नहीं है लेकिन सिस्टम उसको फैसिलिटेट करता है तो क्या वो नेशनलिज्म की फीलिंग जो है वो वीक हो जाएगी या आजकल आने वाले जो चैलेंजेस हैं उसके बावजूद भी 
वो जो ग्रुप लॉयलिटी है वो जो फीलिंग है वो स्टिल एग्जिस्ट करेगी सो दिस इज़ क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग डिबेट और हिस्टोरिकली जो फीलिंग ऑफ नेशनलिज्म है जो हमने देखा कि बहुत अरसे से पोलिटिकल uh, साइंटिस्ट ने इस पर डिबेट शुरू की फिर पोलिटिकल सोशियोलॉजिस्ट ने अपनी इसमें कंट्रीब्यूशन दी कि ग्रुप जो हैं वो बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट हैं और स्पेसिफिकली इन द नेम ऑफ नेशनलिज्म बिकॉज नेशनलिज्म इज अ सेंस नेशनलिज्म इज़ अ फीलिंग एंड नेशनलिज्म इज बेसिकली द मार्क ऑफ द यूनिटी क्योंकि वो ग्रुप जिसके अंदर किसी एक बेस पर यूनिटी होगी किसी एक बेस पर वो अपने आप को अपनी आइडेंटिटी को एक दूसरे के साथ लिंक करेंगे तो जहाँ कहीं उनको कोई चैलेंज पेश आएगा वो उस चैलेंज को भी इकट्ठे ही मिलकर फेस करने की ख्वाहिश भी रखते हैं